would be it would be obviously devastated to see what's happened between the two brothers anyway um, at any level she'd obviously be uh, very upset to see that they've um, uh, drifted apart so much and have fallen out so badly i mean obviously if she'd still been alive you'd like to think that that wouldn't have happened in the first place but uh, this this is the sort of thing that highlights it a cause like this that they both could have done so much good for uh, something which she was uh, very anxious for them to uh, to do uh, and uh, so um, you know i'm sure she'd be absolutely devastated but um you know where we are we are where we are uh, and uh, william's going to carry on with this work uh, with or without harry and at the moment it looks like it's going to be without harry I mean, he's he's taken to this uh, quite a lot, uh, William. He's actually made quite a few friends with um, with homeless people. Um, we've seen those uh, pictures of him um, spending a day selling the big issue, and he became quite friendly with one of the uh, big issue sellers. Um, and so he's, um, you know, it's, it's something which I think has really struck a chord to him, uh, with him. And um, I think he's passed that on very much to uh, to his children, to George, Charlotte, and Louis. He'll probably do the same with them when they're a little bit older. I should imagine take them to. Um, to homeless centres and perhaps get them to sleep rough overnight uh, and really sort of, um, you know, uh, lead by example and um, show them the same things that Dinah showed to him as a child. Well, I'd like to think that Harry would, um, you know, have some regrets and think to himself, well, this is a shame that I'm not involved in this. Um, sometimes I'm not sure that, um, you know, he necessarily would. He might see this as something that William's doing on his own uh, to sort of show him up. I don't think William's doing it for that reason. Uh, but obviously it's uh, the contrast between them and uh, the things they're getting involved with. It just highlights the, you know, the sad situation that we're in. And, um, you know, when you see Harry come back for something like the Well Child Awards that he did the other week, um, you know, he's still very popular with some of these charities. He could have done a great deal of good and so could Megan, of course, uh, with some of these causes. So you'd like to think that they would uh, regret that they're not involved things, in things like that anymore. Uh, but, um, you know, he's got other fish to fry and um, he's going to go his own way. Very sadly, I can't see this rift um, healing in, in the near future, if at all. Um, there have been reports that uh, William has told people, told friends, that he doesn't even want uh, Harry to be at his coronation whenever that comes. I mean, obviously, that could be in several years' time, so he's looking that far ahead. Uh, and uh, so if he's saying that, clearly he doesn't see any chance of a reconciliation. I, I personally don't think they will ever make it up, sadly. I think uh, there might be some sort of uh, rapprochement between um, between Harry and the king, I don't think the, the king would like to go to his grave, um, you know, being estranged from his uh, son, who he was once very, very close to. Uh, but so I think there might be some progress there. But I'm afraid at the moment, I don't see uh, I don't see William wanting to um, make it up with Harry, especially as he's you know so concentrated at the moment on um, on Kate's recovery from her cancer. And that's that's his main priority. So I don't really think um, I don't really think a, 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 a rapprochement with Harry is at the top of his uh, is at the top of his agenda. It really is on the back burner.